Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fourth problem of Atcoder Beginner Contest 359, which is avoid key palindrome. This problem is better than the previous one, the sixth one, and uh, uh, this is a good problem. We can see. So what is the problem? You are given a string s of length n consisting of a, b, and question mark. You are also given uh, a positive integer k. A string t consisting of a and b is considered a good string if it satisfies the following uh, condition. No contiguous substring uh, of length k in t is a palindrome. So this I have seen similar type of problem in Google Kickstart, and I think I have the link of that problem. Uh, I will provide the link of the uh, my YouTube video in the description box. You can check that out too. Now let's jump back to the problem. So what is the problem? Uh, we are given some. Let's let's take the first example only. This this example. Uh, uh, let me write it here. So. Uh, we have two question marks, right? Two question marks. We can uh, change uh, the first question mark to either A or B, and we can change the second question mark to uh, A or B, right? So let's say we have four possibilities, right? Now in the in these four possibilities, we have to print uh, the uh, the number of possibilities that are good. Okay. So what is good? A good uh, string means that it does not contain uh, a four-length palindrome. It does not contain a four-length palindrome. Okay. Now, uh, how we can solve this? Uh, let's take. Let's try to uh, write on this example only first. Okay. So let's take uh, first one as a. The, the, what are the four possibilities? Let's uh, write them first. So let's say we are taking a and a first. So this will be a. Uh, let me write it in uh, text format. So the uh, so the first one will be a b. Uh, we are taking a a a b a. This is the first one. The second one will be uh, we are taking let's say first one as a and the second one as b. Then it will be a b a a b b a. Okay. The third one will be we are taking first one b and the second one a. So this will be a b b a a b a. Okay. Uh, and the fourth one will be uh, we are taking first one as b and the second one is b as well. So this will be a b b a b b a. Okay. Now among these four strings. Which uh, one of them mm, does not contain uh, four-length palindrome? So this one, this one contains four-length palindrome A B B A. So this is not a good string. This one contains a four-length palindrome. So this is not also a good string. This one contains two four-length uh, palindromes. So this is also not a good string. But this one does not contain any four-length palindrome. So this is a good string. So the answer will be one here. So the answer will be one here. Okay. Now. How we can solve this? The first brute force solution will be two to the power n solution. Let's say there are n question marks. Then the solution will be two to the power n to generate all possible cases and check if the case is a palindrome or not. The time complexity will be order of two to the power n. Here you can see that n is uh, around thousand. N is around thousand. So this is not possible. Definitely not possible. So let's think something better. Okay. Now let's say let's say we are doing some kind of recursion. Okay. For this kind of problem, we will always try to do recursion. We can do iteration also, but here I am thinking about recursion solution. That, that would be better suited for this type of problems. So let's say we are uh, let's say we are at some state i. Let's say i is index. Okay. Let's say we are at some index i, and till index i, there is no uh, folding uh, k-length palindromes. There are no k-length palindromes. Now we are adding the i-th character. We are adding the s-i-th character. Now, after adding the si character, so we we have checked all all the k-length palindromes, right? Let's say uh, let's say we are at this like a b. Uh, let's say we are at uh, a b b, right? Now a b b uh, b. Let's say let me take something better. Let's say we are let's take this a a b b. Okay. Now let's say we are checking four-length palindrome. So we have already checked one four-length palindrome, right? There is only one four-length palindrome and we, uh, four-length string and substring, and we have already checked that. Now, when we are adding the si character, let's say a, then only one uh, uh, substring of length four is formed, which we have not checked yet, which is this one. Okay, which is this one. Now we have to check if this one is a four-length palindrome or not. Okay, I think you got it. Uh, when we are adding some uh, index si, we have to check the uh, k-length palindrome formed by the adding this uh, character 
is a palindrome or not because we have already checked the previous uh, k length palindromes so for the recursion state along with i we have to take the last k characters we have to take the last k characters let's say we have taken the last k characters from s of i minus k to s of i minus 1 i hope you get it we have taken uh, this substring s of i minus k to s of i minus 1 now uh, we have this right s of i minus k to s of i minus 1 let's call that p p is nothing but s of i minus k to s of i minus 1 now when uh, we are adding s i we have to uh, drop this one we have to drop this character now we have to check s of i minus k plus 1 to s i this one this one is a uh, k length palindrome or not for che checking k length palindrome is quite easy uh, like checking a palindrome is order of n operation and here uh, k is around 10 so uh, this is definitely possible so we have to take i and the last k characters of the string okay now we, let's say we are at some uh, index a uh, i which is at a then we will add the eighth character and drop the uh, i minus k character and when we are at uh, b we will add this character and drop i minus k character but when we are at something let's say question mark then we have to add both a and b and check the possibility okay now we can do this right we can do this uh, we can store the uh, s of i minus k to s of i minus 1 string in our recursion state but as the string only contains a and b so we can take some kind of bit mask where 0 or 0 will in, uh, determine it is a and 1 will determine it is b okay this will reduce the uh, uh, like the value like uh, the key of the recursion state so we are st storing our recursion state i comma uh, let's say some value in the dp if the value is a string then the value of the key is uh, huge okay the hash will be also huge and let's say we have to uh, we are using bit mask then can, we can directly use 2d array okay we can use 2d array i mask okay and if we are using some string then we have to use some kind of ma map to store uh, a key of uh, i comma val okay pair of i comma val in, in integer and string so instead of that we, we will be storing mask that will be better okay so mask will mask will contain the last k characters where zero means that the uh, i character if the 0th index is set then th that means that the i character is a and if it is not set then that means that the i character is b or um, you can do reverse also okay now uh, here uh, for the mask for mask okay L let's jump onto the code we'll understand it better uh, here th this part is the recursion solution okay this part is the recursion solution we are storing i and mask okay now if i is greater than equals to k then we are checking that this gate mask is ma nothing but if the mask is a palindrome or not if the mask is a palindrome or not is quite straightforward we are checking uh, this is this is nothing but uh, straightforward palindrome checking in order of n time uh, i am not going to explain this one this function uh, so we are checking if i greater than equals to k and if the mask is a palindrome the last k characters is a palindrome then we'll, then we will return zero now if i is the n uh, then we will return 1. Now, if the state is already visited, we will return dpi mask. This part is for memorization. Now, here a uh, new mask is not needed. Here it is important. How we are getting uh, mask, uh, new mask from the current mask. How we are getting new mask from the current mask. That is important. Let me explain that. Now, let's say, let's say uh, here I am considering a as 1, I think. Yeah, here I am considering a as 1. So, let's say we have something like 0, 0. Uh, let's say we have something like 1010 okay now it is your choice that you will be uh, using the current character as lower uh, lsb the least significant bit or most significant bit but here i am using the current index as the most significant bit okay now if if i is less than k okay i is less than k then uh, the current mask does not contain uh, k characters okay in that case, we will just directly do, uh, the, uh, if the current character is A, we will just directly do 2 to the power i. And if it is if it is B, then it is not needed, if i is less than k. Okay. Now, if i is greater than k, okay, if i is greater than equals to k, that means, uh, let's say we have something like 1010. Now, we have to drop, 
drop the last character here because this will be the uh, i minus kth index because our uh, we are storing uh, our current index as the most significant bit the leftmost bit so this will be the rightmost bit will be extracted uh, so we can erase this so how we can, we can erase this we can do some uh, right shift operation by one by that way this bit will be uh, dropped okay and after that we can directly do 2 to the power k and if 2 to the power k into c if uh, the current character is a then c value will be 1 if the current character is b then c value will be 0 i hope you get it this is the get mask function if i is less than k we are doing mask plus c into 1 left uh, 2 to the power i and if it is greater than equals to k then we are right shifting the mask by 1 and doing the same thing c into 1 2 to the power k minus 1 okay uh, the rest of the part are uh, straightforward. I am not going to explain that. If you have any doubt in, in any part of the explanation or any part of the code, you can always ask in the comment section. I will try to reply each and every comment. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and also share among your peers. Thank you.